This is the Pampanga River Basin, the third largest river basin in the country, mostly located in central Luzon, the region located at the forefront of development, where its prospects for further growth is limitless, economic development, infrastructure assets, and human capital development. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, there has been a rapid increase in the region's population from 2010 to 2015, which puts Central Luzon as the third most populous region following Metro Manila and Calabarzon. This rapid growth brings with it increased environmental pressure from human activities such as massive pollution on the region's air, land, and water resources. It was foreseen by Pag-asa that in 2020, either longer dry season or higher precipitation might occur, causing major imbalances in ecosystems. And worse, this situation might further persist in the year 2050. The danger in this phenomenon is a serious risk to the economic status of the region and of the lifetime resources of its people. To contribute the biggest in maintaining balance and sustaining regional economic development is the Pampanga River Basin. The PRB has a very huge watershed area of about 1.04 million hectares under the territorial jurisdiction of 90 cities and municipalities in the region. It drains to Manila Bay and is surrounded by the mountains of Sierra Madre, Caraballo, and Pinatubo. Majority of the river basin area spreads in the four provinces of central Luzon, namely 48% Nueva Ecija, 19.4% Pampanga, 19.4% Bulacan, and 8% Tarlac. It is traversed by three major river systems. The Pampanga Main River System, which originates from the Caraballo Mountains in Nueva Ecija, flowing through Pampanga and Bulacan as it merges with major tributaries like Coronel River, Peñaranda River, and Rio Chico River before reaching Manila Bay is the longest which stretches for about 265 kilometers. This river system also drains water to the Cantaba Swamp. Next would be the Angat River system originating from the Sierra Madre Mountains in Bulacan and drains to Manila Bay through the Labangan Floodway. Lastly would be the Pasak River system, the most variable river system covering the southeastern slope of Mount Pinatubo and the highly urbanized areas of San Fernando and Angeles City. To address the critical environmental issues in the Pampanga River Basin, the Pampanga River Basin Committee or the PRBC was created under the ambit of the Regional Development Council to provide critical link between national level policy direction and local level water development and management. The major management challenges in the five thematic areas on water resources, watershed, wetland, flood and hazard, and institutional include flooding, drought, water pollution, watershed degradation, mangrove destruction, and fragmented institutional environment. Siyempre ang vision natin para sa Pampanga River Basin ay maging uh, most economically advanced and resilient river basin sa bansa. With that, we wanted to have the lowest poverty incidence, fully restored watershed and ecosystems, properly utilized at managed ng mga water resources with adequate modern infrastructure and facilities. Lalo na ang strong partnership with its citizens and leaders. All of this, we hope to realize by 2030. The PRB Master Plan is in response to Republic Act No. 9729 or the Climate Change Act of 2009 with a general goal of forming the country's adaptive capacity to climate change allowing for mitigation opportunities and Republic Act No. 10121 or the Disaster Risk Reduction Law of 2010 that leads to the creation of framework of strategies and initiatives for disaster risk reduction management and to implement the strategies, an investment program was formulated.
The general objectives of the Comprehensive Development of Pampanga River Basin or PRB are as follows to it. To improve water security. To conserve, protect, and rehabilitate watersheds. To sustain and manage wetland ecosystems. To reduce vulnerability and improve adaptive capacity to climate risks and other forms of hazard. And to capacitate institutions and empower stakeholders. Our long-term development plans include the Climate Responsive Integrated Master Plan for Pampanga River Basin which will direct us to our destinations of having a Matatag, Maginhawa, and Panatag na Buhay para sa lahat. All of these programs and projects, when fully implemented, would contribute in making the Pampanga River Basin the most economically advanced and resilient river basin in the country and possibly contribute to the attainment of the country's long-term vision the ambition natin 2040 of a matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay para sa lahat.